All right, in this video, I'm going to take the T-Test system and I install it on a tractor and a trailer. So the first thing we're going to do here is if you look, um, I have my example here. And then behind that, all I did was I took all the components and I put them here. So you can still test out the, um, you can still test, out the test rig if you wish. These will be sitting here, so you'll be able to just uh, copy these and use them. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we'll upgrade my Mac. So my Mac already has, it was essentially the predecessor to TTIS. It was just kind of a system. So we're going to go ahead and convert. So I just want to copy all this. This is the tractor side. You can look at the uh, micro controller. It will say tractor. This is the trailer side. So we're just going to copy this. And we'll open up my Mac. So here is the uh, latest Mac. And we'll just go ahead. I'm just going to kind of toss this in here. Um, and so we'll start to integrate this. So, for example, I have some systems already set up. Again, this came from the Mac, so um, things like some of the lights are already connected. So we'll go to data here, and we'll find our lights. Um, as you can see, we have uh, right directional. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to connect this up. So we need to go here to right directional. Now, I have a more complicated side light on the... Um, on the Mac here, so I have to do that separately, but this um, paintable indicator is also our right directional. Um, I need to do the, um, so that I can delete out the right directional. Logic here for my um, left directional, as you can see here, is left directional. So that's going to go here and here, and then we can delete out um, these parts. So if you, you know, if you already have those parts in, you can delete them. Next, uh, we'll do the headlights here. So uh, we have um, headlight um, and panel backlights. So that's going to do both your headlight and your panel backlights. So headlight, headlight, and then my panel backlights. So this is going to be when you turn on the headlight, it's going to turn on all your backlights for your gauges, just like it would in a real uh, vehicle. Backlight, what's that? That's external. We don't want that. That is fifth wheel pass through. Okay, that's good. So that's all our gauge backlights. So that's good. So we can de now delete off these um, headlights here. All right, so um, I already have some other components. I have a light cord here. So let's uh, look at that. So we have composite going to light cord. So we want to take light cord and we're going to plug here. So my system works a little bit differently on the Mac. Um, what I do is I do a more realistic system, how it works in real life. So you go up from here. Um, there's a uh, plug outlet here. It goes up. It goes through a um, essentially some springs on a rail. And so I'm simulating that with a winch. And then it comes down and it just plugs into here. This is a dead receptacle. All this is for is... Um, is to plug the cable in, and what that allows you to do is, as the trailer moves, it doesn't it doesn't make the uh, cable tight; it lets it move around. All right, so we don't need that. I also have all this tail section here, so um, let's go ahead and delete off that. We just finished that, so now I need to do my um, tail lights here. So let's go logic. Um, as you can see here, we're going. Um, from here, it goes to our RGB brake light starboard. So that would be right here. Um, we have RGB brake light port. All right. And then the reverse lights here, um, I'll show you how I have it set up on the Mac. So the reverse lights here, what I recommend doing is um, if you have a gear for your reverse, um, just plug those in a reverse light. So when you switch into your reverse gear, it will turn on your reverse lights. All right, and then um, you want to do, let's go back to composite. As you can see here, we have our uh, cable anchor. So for our cable anchor, we need to have um, right here, light cord. So light cord is both going to the light cord that goes to the trailer. It's also going here in case you want to hook up to a dolly. All right, the pintle does not go to anything. Um, that's fine, we don't need that connected. So that should be that. Um, let's go ahead and we'll delete these. So, you know, if you were starting out from fresh, uh, you know, you might just want to use those parts and recolor them. I have already, you know, like I said, this system came from the Mac, so I don't need to, uh, I don't need to, you know, replace things that are already on there. I can just plug them in. So um, this is actually the first time I've converted this. So if we look in here, 
I already have my um, trolley, Jake, and my supplies. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at um, how these connect. So we'll go back to logic. As you can see, they go into the panels section. So I need my headlights. I need my, um, and I need this. So I actually have a more complicated system. I take my entire panels and they go into what I call the pass through. So you don't have to worry about that on yours. All you really need to know is you need to send the signal from your panels to where it says, um, where it says panels right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So um, I actually have, this is the old controller that T-Test came from. As you see, it says pass through. Um, pass through is panels for me. So I'm just going to do that. And then if you already have a system set up, you can change the numbers. So these are just the numbers I have here. So headlights is seven. Um, and then I have um, trolleys eight, nine, 10 and 11 so I need to change these so that's pretty simple here so what I want to do is I want to go to my headlight switch which is right here um, that is what's that that's here that's five so my headlights five instead of seven so I could either change that on the panel or more likely what I'll do is I'll go in the microcontroller so we'll go in the microcontroller and where it says seven I'm gonna change that to five all right so that's gonna set that up for my um, for my numbers now let's go here. This should be um, trolley is 9, Jake is 10, uh, trailer supply is 11, and 12. So 9 through 12 um, are going to be those controls there. So let's go in here. All right, so uh, directional is going to be the same. That's going to come from the seat. So we want to go um, look here. So we'll start finding some numbers. Um, that's fine. Let's find some numbers. Okay, so 9 is going to be Jake break. Um, that's not correct on mine. Nine is trolley. Jake is 10 on mine. Um, let's see. What do you have? Tractor parking brake. Um, so the tractor parking brake on mine is going to be 12. Okay. So we'll just switch that number there. Uh, composite 8. What is 8? 8 is coming from the panels. Um, let's see. What is 8? Eight? 8 is trailer that trolley brakes. Let me look. So what we can do here is we can um, look at what this is and what eight is. So eight is trolley brake. Okay. So I need to set my trolley brake. So all we have to do is look here. Uh, what's the trolley? Trolley is going to be nine instead of eight. So we'll turn eight to nine. Okay. And I'm going to actually take this and put that right there so I can read it. That way um, I put a bunch of these property tags in so you can read what you're connecting. 31 is going to be the um, space bar, so that's already connected. That's fine. It's always space bar. You don't need to worry about that. All right, so what else do we need here? We need to, um, so we have, uh, let me see, tractor park brake. That's tractor park brake. Then where is um, trailer brakes? That's trolley there. Yeah, that's true. Let me see. That is trolley. Okay. I just need to find where my trailer is. Okay. We'll find that in a second. Um, I'm just going to update that. See if Jake. Do I have my Jake break? Okay. So let's update that. We'll just keep moving here and I'll come back. Logic. Uh, so we need to connect the seat. So the seat's going to go right to our seat connection here. Mm -hmm. And we can label our seat as well. I think it's mostly labeled for me. Um, steering. Um, throttle brake for WS. Left, right, nothing. Up, downs, nothing. One is going to be left directional. Um, we don't want these. Yeah, that we do want them toggled. Never mind. Right directional. Right directional. Uh, three is going to be hazards. That's good. Um, space bar is the trigger. That's trolley brake. That's going to be push. We don't want that on off. We want to be able to push it, let go of it, and tap it if we need to. All right, so uh, let's see. What are we missing here? I think we're missing trailer supply. So for this, it's going to be, so we'll find the number easier by looking at it. So it's going to be 10, and this here is going to be, um, I believe it's 11. Yep, so 10 to 11. So again, we go in here, we'll convert. So 
So we need to find um, from the panel um, 10. Here's 10. Okay, so here is 10. This is going to be our, um, let me see, 10 is going to be our, let me see, tractor, tractor park brake. Okay, so if 12, if 12 is not on, we get the tractor park brake. Okay, let me just read this really quick. So if that's between negative 1 and 0.3 and that, that should be Jake break. That's Jake break. Okay, so that's fine. Jake is correct. So we need to find if I have another 10 around here somewhere. Trolley break is 9. That's fine. So we need to find um, trailer breaks to light cord. All right, so we need to find this um, at some point. We need to find where that is. Here it is, right here. Okay, so 10 is going to be um, panel 10. All right, that should be, that's input 10. That's going to the trailer. That's going to be setting the trailer park brakes. Okay, so that should be 11. So that's going to go to 11. And one of the reasons it was hard to find was I, it was up here. Okay, so that should finish that conversion there. So these two here can be deleted. This is all set. Next, we need to do the fifth wheel. So let's go back to our um, logic here. So we need front. So I need to actually convert my fifth wheel a little bit. So I changed the design just a hair. Um, I think I moved these forwards. Let's go like this. So I just changed the fifth wheel design when I did this. Make it a little bit bigger like that. And then we will go like this and then I'm going to use a key switch so we have a key switch and this needs to be connected to electricity um, I also choose to um, do the additive colors black just so that we don't have a light on there okay so we have our fifth wheel here um, and so what we want to do is we want to go to um, we have uh, from fifth wheel release handle so we want to go activated we want a uh, two connector, so that's going to go to our um, fifth wheel connector here, release connector. And then we have two release handle that goes back to the external input. That's so that when the timer runs out, it can shut that key switch off. So that's that connected. And we want to make sure we uh, plug in electricity for this. So um, presently, you know, I don't have the electricity connected, so we can do that later. Um, so hopefully this should work. Let me check and make sure that my current system it doesn't have anything else that I that's going to be um, a mess here. Um, left directional, left directional gear switch, gearbox one by one. Let me see. Okay, so this is good. So this box should be able to go. That was the old box that TTIS was based off of. Um, you can paint these whatever you want when you get them in. So one of the reasons I, I did um, green is, I'll show you, this, you know, I don't have anything lime green on here. So it's very simple. Go to replace color. I'm going to make these black because they're just going to be in the engine bay. And as you can see, I can replace all that green. Um, it's not a big deal when you just have two things to paint them individually. But, you know, if you had all the parts and you were taking all the parts from the T-Test package, then you might want to just replace all. Um, let's actually, I'm going to paint this while it's out here. And then you just paint everything up whatever color you want. All right, so that's good. Let's put that back in. All right, so now this should be connected, and then if um, if I need to connect anything else, I can. But this should set up the TTIS system on the uh, Mac. All right. So we'll paste that. That's pasted. All right, so now we have this one. Let's just put this in and hide this one somewhere. All right, so this is a nice small module, so this should fit anywhere really well. All right, so this will fit right here. No problem. Uh, paste that. Oh, and I got to paste it. There we go. All right, so that should set up the tractor. Let's test. And I'm going to put on uh, infinite electricity because I just don't have the Mac set up for, um, I don't have the battery set up yet. All right, so let's test left directional. We're getting our rear directional. 
We have a side directional. Um, like I said, yeah, that actually working. My, uh, I have the system still set up for that other blinker. Mine's on a panel, where the regular TTIS system, it's on a, um, it's just an indicator. All right, so that's working. Let's go two. Two is going to be our right directional. We get the sides, we get the front, and we get the rear. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and go, uh, for me, reverse is just I start going down on my uh, down arrow. As you can see, my reverse lights come on. I didn't talk about that in the other video. That Again, all you have to do is connect whatever triggers your reverse. So whatever you're triggering your ver reverse gear, just connect that up to your reverse lights. All right, so that's good. Let's test brakes. So I'm just going to hold down the S key. Brakes come on. Now I'm going to both hold down the S key and do a directional, and I get hard uh, brake lights, and I get um, that. So that should be set up. All right, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to uh, go ahead and I'll fire up the uh, the Mac. And my lights didn't, my backlights didn't come on, but that's fine. I have it on a different system, so I'll just fix that later. All right, so now we should have brakes on. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in first gear. Now oh, that's second. Okay, that's first gear. I have to fix my, uh, my gear um, indicator just because I changed the system around. All right, so we should have brakes on, so I'm going to give it some power, and we shouldn't move. All right, as you can see, it's struggling because the brakes are on. should be able to press tractor supply. It should release the tractor brakes. All right, and as you see, we move. So the T-TIS is installed. So as you can see, it's pretty quick and easy to install that. Um, we're going to do one more test here. All right, I'll set the brakes. I'll put it myself in, uh, in uh, neutral. All right. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. And uh, I want to test the fifth wheel. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the key. And it's going to take us 30 seconds, so that's not a big deal. So I'll talk about what we're going to do next. You, sh you should see this out of the corner of your eye. Just flip when it uh, the timer's up. And that tells us that's working. But um, So next thing we'll do is we'll go back in the workbench, and we'll grab the trailer portion of the T-TIS system. And I will install that on... Um, my frameless dump and that will actually pretty much finish up the frameless dump and that can be released soon so we're probably close on time here um, again there it goes 30 seconds you see that reset the fifth wheel that will automatically allow us to reconnect so let's go ahead and uh, let's get in here uh, back to the work uh, let me yeah I can recall that and save it okay go back into the workbench here and let's grab the uh, we'll go back to TTIS so I have, I have a separate save as components, but I'm going to probably leave it like this. So, you, you know, you could, if you want to play with the truck, you can just drive it out. These will just sit on the ground. And if you want to select them, you can. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to select everything again. This is all the trailer portion now. So we'll copy this. All right, and we'll load up my, uh, we'll do the frameless dump. All right, so uh, we're going to bring this in here, and now we're going to start converting. So I already have a bunch of the parts already in here, so I don't need all of them. So again, we'll do the thing where, you know, whatever you need. So let's start with the light cord. So we'll go to um, to composite. All right, uh, you see where it plugs in light cord? And we'll go ahead and we'll plug in light cord. Okay, good. So the other thing you want to do is all your electricity is coming from your light cords, so make sure your light cords plug to all your electricity of your systems here. So like these, these are not connected, so these should be connected, so I'll make sure those connect. All right, and I think is this connected? Yep, that's all connected. Okay, good. So that's fine. So light cord setup, we did the composite. Um, there's no data, and you want to connect your electricity. So we'll go ahead and we will erase that. Um, I already have some of my clearance lights here. I'm actually going to add two more. Um, I'll put some side clearances on here. And then go like this. All right, and then I'll just um, go to uh, additive, and then I'll paint those. Okay, so now I have my clearance lights on. So let's look at where my clearance lights connect here. Actually, make sure my electricity is also connected for my new clearance lights. We'll still have infinite electricity on, but that's uh, good to do. We'll go to data here. So we'll find where this is going to, um, as you see, marker clearance. So these go to all your lights, all your uh, clearance lights, and all of your marker lights. So as you can see, I'm, uh, you know, I'm replacing this old system that I had here with this uh, integrated system. 
All right, good. So those are done, so we can delete these off. So our clearance lights are done. We just did our marker lights. Those are done. These are just a couple white blocks you don't need. And then uh, here we're going to uh, marker clearances. Here we're going to go to trailer parking brake. All right, so you want to go to all your park, all your wheels. You want to go to parking brake. That's going to set your parking brake. Okay. So, so the way this works is if there's no signal coming through the light cord from the tractor, again, that red button, these brakes will be on. So this allows the brakes to be on when you're stopped and uh, when you're, when the trailers say, if you'd left the trailer on a hill, the brakes would be on, so it'd stay stationary. Uh, kingpin. I want to um, connect the kingpin. The kingpin is the pin that connects to the fifth wheel. And then we have trailer variable brakes. So this is going to be your brake controller for your variable brakes. So make sure you do variable brakes and you don't hook it up to steering or you're going to have some weird uh, wheel steer here. Okay, so that's set up. All right, so next thing we need, let's check our composites, make sure our composites are all connected. Okay, so here, RGB brake light starboard. So um, these are your brake lights, your interiors. Your exteriors, um, actually... Let me see. I don't think I labeled these correctly. Let me check. Um, that is uh, right directional. So, yeah. No, these are fine. Okay. Uh, RGB brake light starboard. Your brake lights are your inboards. So this is RGB brake light starboard. I shouldn't need two at this point. That's something I probably need to fix. RGB brake light port. So, yeah, these aren't flashing, so I can make those one connection. I'll uh, update that on the TTIS. And then we have... Um, our right directional here, so that's going to be your outboard, and then we should have your uh, your left directional uh, brake light port, left directional, left directional is there. All right, so as you can see, it's all hooked up to the T-test system now. Uh, we can go ahead and we can uh, delete these, and I'm just going to let me find where that old controller was, and I'll replace it. So let's see, um, select key here, so it's right here. This is the old controller. Um, that the Tita spawned from essentially. So what we'll do here is again, I don't have any lime green anywhere else in my build. Um, what I'll do is replace color. I'm going to make it. Uh, I think I'm using this dark gray color here, and then we'll paint this, and then this uh, microcontroller can be moved in. So, and that will be cut and moved back into this hole where we just put the had the other one there. All right, so that can be pasted in there. All right, so now oh, I don't want to do that for sure. That will uh, merge something I don't want. All right, so that is done there. All right, so the uh, that should finish the install for the uh, T-test system on the um, frameless dump. So let's go ahead and I'm going to save this. Okay, and now I'm going to spawn it. You know, I still have infinite electricity on, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect my Mac up. And we'll see if there's uh, any issue here um, with the conversion. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll release the tractor brakes. And I'm going to make sure I'm in reverse. And we'll just reverse into the... Um, I have my fast reverse on, so I'm going to put in the slow reverse. All right, so the fifth wheel, it reset. Remember, we, um, you know, after a 30-second timer, it reset itself. Ooh, I'm way off. Okay. I wasn't really paying attention when I backed up. Let me do it in first person. I'm always better in first person. Okay. And so let's back up here. All right. All right, so we, we're connected. Uh, if I try to go forwards here, brakes should still be on the trailer. As you can see, they're not. The brakes are on. The landing gear is also down, but the brakes are on. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll raise the gear. All right, uh, gear is raised. Let's go ahead and we'll grab our light cord. So you can see my system is a little bit different here on my Mac. Um, that's cumbersome, but this gives me good slack, so I might change or not. But anyways, 
So the trailer is connected now, so we have power, landing gear is raised. Um, we'll take this out and we'll check our lights and make sure everything's working. Alright. And we'll go ahead and pull out. Oh, so, okay, so now we need to do, do both tractor brake release and uh, trailer. Um, we need to supply the trailer to uh, release the trailer brakes. Alright, so we are currently... Let me see. We still have a brake on somewhere on the trailer. So let's check some lights here. Um, something is up here. Alright, it's probably with my light cord. Alright, so I don't have any lighting on the trailer. Let me put on the headlights. Okay. Okay, so something's up. So I, Let me actually use my camera properly. That would be helpful. All right, so no, so no lights in the trailer. That's fine. We'll um, we'll go ahead and I will work on that. So let's grab the light cord here, and let's see what's up with this. What needs to be fixed? Okay, so quickly check the connections here. It might actually be with the tractor. So, so first thing I like to check is merge. Make sure I merge that. I did. Okay. Light cord goes from the um, cable anchor to light cord. Um, my l that's uh, left directional is good. Uh, right, uh, left brake light, um, brake light starboard, and then we should have our right directional. That's good. We should have um, all of our parking brakes. Um, we should have all of our variable brakes. Um, we should have our markers and our clearance. The other thing could be is kingpin. So let's go through the logic of that. So I, I connected the kingpin there. Um, I don't think we really need that kingpin connection. I might change the way that works. So what that was was for if the trailer was not connected, it um, it sets the trailer brakes. So it, if the kingpin is not connected or the trailer brakes. Um, okay, so I you know what I have to do? I figured it out already. So um, if we remember, my trailer brakes are actually, um, they're 11, they're not 10. Okay, so that, that should fix that. Trailer variable brakes, light cord 7, that should be fine, I think. Um, that all should work. So I think that's all I need to do. So I needed to convert the number. Remember that if you use the panels that I include with the T-test package, that should work fine. Remember my tractor had a different number because my panel was different, so you need to make sure you change that. Um, what I'll do here is I'll do this real quick. And I'll do a property text. And I'll put that there. This is um, a trailer brake release. Okay, so that's going to be, um, that would be what you need to change this 11 to, or this uh, one that was 10 to update that. Let's spawn it, and it should hopefully spawn right on top of my tractor. It does. Okay, let's see if that fixed it. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's check. So, we don't have any light still, so there's something else up. Uh, let's see if the brakes work. Remember, we were having problems, we couldn't get the brakes on. We have a little bit of a lighting issue. I think that's just something with the light cord, um, so I can work on that. So let's go ahead and we will both should be released. Let's check it. All right, so it looks like I have a communication issue with the tractor, so that's fine. Uh, we'll work on that. So let's go to the trailer. We'll go, um, you know, again, part of the problem, too, is, you know, if you take the T-test system and you start from scratch building a trailer, everything's going to work fine. I'm converting... Um, essentially old builds so they're going to be a little bit more um, they're going to be a little bit more challenging just because you have to take all your numbers and make sure you import them correctly and if you do it incorrectly it's just you know you're going to have uh, you're going to have issues where you um, have to make sure you put in all the right numbers so let's quickly just path through this so we need to find the um, composite path here so uh, my two light cord from the um, T-test system goes into this one. Um, that will then plug... Okay, this is it right here. It's not going through the cable. So um, this is going to go here. The signal is going to come out here. This needs to go to there. 
Um, that was that should fix the problem, I hope. Let's spawn this, and then I will um, let's spawn this. We'll spawn the trailer. All right, so that looks like that was just, um, you know, that was actually on my end. It was just me not fixing it. I, uh, there was a way I could have easily, um, I could have easily checked that, and I didn't. Um, so let's see if this fixes it. Hopefully it does. Okay, let's go to the frameless dump light work spawn. Okay, we'll back into that, and we will connect up the light cords, see what we're looking at here. Okay, so we'll supply our tractor with, um, you know, simulated air, and we'll just back in. I'm going to do it the third person here. I'll actually do it in first. It's going to be easier for me in first person to connect to a trailer. Okay, so uh, brakes are on, which they should be on. Let's hook the light cord. I'm just going to flip on my um, headlights here. Okay, let's check the lights. Okay, good. So we have lights now. So it looked like it was that one connection that was, you know, had nothing to do with the system. It was just me. All right, so we have lights now. Um, lights on the trailer. We have our uh, clearance lights. Let's go ahead and do this. As you can see, you can see them a little bit better. We have our clearance lights up there. Let's go ahead and go out. Um, so we, okay, so I'm going to start off with the brakes um, of the, um, I'm going to start off with the brakes of the trailer on, uh, and we'll see if it drags. I, I didn't put the landing gear up either, so let me put the landing gear up. So landing gear is going to go up. Okay. And then we'll jump back in. All right, so let's start driving forwards. All right, so as you can see, the trailer brakes should be on. They are on. Okay, let's release the trailer brakes. Now they should be off. We should roll. Okay, so we still have a trailer brake problem. Let's check it. See what's up with this. Again, you know, like I said, it's me converting to a different system. So the wheel brake is true. Okay, so something's up with that. So we can just take the trailer. Tractor's working well now. Okay, so let's make sure we have we have our so it's these brakes. So our parking brake is set. So let's look at the system here. And so again, this could be me um, having a connection wrong. Okay, so kingpin. Let's make sure the kingpin is connected. All right, so we want to make sure the kingpin is sending an update. So we have an infinite electricity on. So let's go logic here, kingpin. Connected is set to here. Okay. For right now, let's do a quick test where I go like this and see if I can unset the brakes, and that will tell me where my problem is. Okay. So, light cord again. Uh, I screwed up by deleting the wrong light cord, but that's fine. I can just take it from here. And that just bypasses all that. Lights should be on. They are. Brakes should be on because we haven't released the brakes yet. Brakes are true. And actually, I think I did release the brakes, so we might still have an issue here. Okay, so let's figure out what's up with this. Okay. So it might be where I'm sending it. So let me look. All right, so we need to find where I'm sending that information. So this is sending panels. 11 is my trailer parking brake. It's coming here. Let's see where this is coming to. So I think I figured it out already. Um, this should have been 10. I changed the number. That was wrong of me to do. Um, I'm sending um, panel 11 to signal 10 or to uh, write 10. All right, so let's change that back to 10. So... Okay, so now we need to fix this. All right. So again, it will be much easier if you have a native build that you're starting from scratch just because the numbers will be all set. You don't have to convert the numbers. Uh, so let's let's do this, and let's keep it hooked up like that. If that works fine, we will um, then go ahead and we'll work with the... Um, 
with the kingpin. So essentially, I have the kingpin set up so that if you just disconnect from the trailer, it puts the brakes on. That way, um, you know, you don't have any um, risk of rolling forwards. Okay, again, I'll do it first person. Be quicker and easier for me. Okay, make sure I have a cable. Okay, so yeah, I'm back to having my regular line here. All right, so check the lights first off. Uh, okay, what's up now? I don't have the headlights on. Okay, that's fine. Headlights are coming on. Let's check, make sure I should have looked at clearance, but uh, we should have taillights on. Taillights are on. Let's check the brakes. Uh, brakes are true, which is fine because I haven't shut them off yet. All right, let's try shutting the brakes off. All right, let's check the brakes. Brakes should be off. All right, brakes are off. All right, so that was it. That was just me um, putting in the wrong number. Okay, and again, it will be easier if you uh, built build it from scratch using the system than converting it. But it's as you can see, it's not difficult to convert it. All right, so we're in first gear. Let's go ahead and start going out. All right, so brakes are off. Here we go. All right, I'm in first. Let's go start up gear in here and get moving. All right, so we're out, we're out of the hangar here. So let's test some systems here. We'll we'll take it for a little drive. All right, so we have our um, marker lights on, as you can see. We have our clearance lights on. Let's go ahead and tap the brakes. As you can see, all four come on as brake lights. That's what we want. Let's go forwards. Let's press the left directional. We got our left directional flashing. That's good. Right directional. Right directional and brake. As you can see, we get the bright brake. We get the bright brake on this side, or the bright directional rather, and then we have hazards with the brakes, as you can see. So all that's working. Let's take the brakes off, and you can see we get flashing. So that's all working um, as intended. That's good. All right, next thing we want to test out is let's test out the, um, the trolley brake. So we can either use this button here, and so I'm going to just lock it up, and I'm going to... And I'm going to go in. All right. All right, so let me go ahead. I'm going to press the space bar. All right, so as you can see, we're getting trailer lights only. Notice the tractor lights are not on. And you see how I'm dragging those wheels? So I have enough power on the tractor to drag the wheels, but as you can see, the brakes are on. Let's test the panel trolley. And we should get brake lights there. As you can see, we do, and it stopped us. Perfect. So our trolley brake is working. Remember, trolley just works. The trailer brakes only. We can either use the space bar or we can use this button in, de in, in the dashboard. Next is Jake brake. So Jake brake is going to activate just the tractor. It's going to do 10%, um, but only when, we, um, only when we're less than 90% throttle. So if I... Uh, take my finger off the W key that should start to activate the Jake brake which again will just break the tractor's brakes which actually I don't believe I hooked up did I I did not hook that up um, I, I don't think I did because I didn't connect any green um, to the uh, system so let me let me double check that um, we'll double check that in but as you can see um, System's working well. Um, it's adding a lot of, you know, IRL uh, tractor trailer features into it. Um, let's go ahead. And so I think the last thing I need to um, add is the um, Jake brake. So we can test the Jake brake with just the tractor. So let's do that. Um, let's detach that cable. Let's put that here. Let's go back and let's see if I forgot to attach the tractor brakes, which I believe I did um, right here. T-test tractor variable brakes. I forgot to put these on. So I have those on an old system. This They should be on this system here. So that was just on an old system that didn't uh, have the integrated tractor system or the integrated system. So let's see, what's this one here? Uh, tractor parking brakes. Uh, tractor parking brakes should be on the new system here. So again, this is just me forgetting to connect some things, but you know, that's just me. Uh, break, break. Okay, and then we need front brakes too. Front brake, um, front brake, and I forgot to add the variable steering to the front. So let's do that. Variable steering, or I'm sorry, variable braking should be on the front as well. Variable brake, variable brake. Okay, so that should be the end of having all the T-test system. I think we are all connected now. So let's spawn it. 
and I can test this with just the tractor. Again, Jake Brake works with just the tractor fine. So let's start it up. Okay. All right, we will supply the tractor, which will release the brakes. Start going here. All right, and now I'm going to add the Jake brake. All right, when I let go of the um, the W key, it will quickly go below 90% and it should start to uh, add 10% brakes. And as you can see, Jake brake slows us down, brings us to a stop. So this would be good for, again, going down a mountain. If you're going down a mountain with that trailer full of coal, uh, you'd be nice and heavy. And so it's kind of a nice way to, um, instead of having to slam on the brakes all the time, you can just turn on the Jake brake. Jake brake is still on right now. And as you can see, when I let go of my W key, it's going to start to slow me down. As you can see, it's slowing me down. So if I want to just maintain the speed, I can just tap my W key. And as you can see, I can keep a nice slow brake speed going down a hill. All right, so that's the T-Test system. That's me uh, taking it and converting a trailer and the tractor. Um, we had a couple challenges there. The challenges are basically just, um, you know, converting from whatever system you already had on the trailer to the new system. You may need to change some numbers. If you go from scratch, um, the numbers are all going to work. Um, and you can work around them. I could have made all, all the numbers match. I just didn't. Um, but as you can see, it really didn't take that long to get this tractor and trailer um, completely transferred over from the systems that I had them working with before to the new system. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.